This is the alcohol group, we call it. Alcohol group. So we'll picture a diamond here. All that is is an OH. It's OH. O with our dot in the middle. Three more in there. One, two, three. This carbon in. This, by the way, would be methanol. Meth aim. Oh. How about ethanol? Ethanol is two carbons. So let's do ethanol next to that. The aim part means that it's saturated. So that's when we look and we see the carbon's got all their bonds in there. So ethane is going to have two carbons. So just draw two diamonds. OH. Here's the O. That makes it the OH alcohol group. Saturated carbon, two, one, two, three. Huh? Not much to it. Take our carbon color crayon here, color it in. So this is a popular side chain group, if you remember. We saw some enzymes like alcohols to take them away and make double bonds out of them. So these are two typical hydroxyl alcohol groups. Single one is methanol, two is ethanol. And we'll color these in. These are water-loving parts. If there's a part of this on the side chain of a molecule, they call that hydrophilic. We'll write that with a little pen here. Hydrophilic is loving How stupid is this? I don't want to change the name, I want to change the song. Kids, technology is taking over. All right. So, hydrophilic is water loving. That brown, we got a new crown here. Water loving. You say oil and water don't mix? Well, liquor and water mixes. So, first side group was hydroxyl. Next side we got is a carbonyl. Not carboxyl, but a car. Bon YL. It's usually represented as a C with a double bonded O. Carbon got four bonds. So this can include the aldehyde or the ketone, depending if it's on the end of the chain or not. So let's take some examples. If we just have one carbon, one diamond, then we'll draw one with two diamonds. And then we'll show you that it can be on either side. So here's another double, double diamond. 
Now we're talking about a double bonded O. So this was where we set our diamond ring, remember? There's the carbon diamond on a ring. So let's see how is this going to work. We actually need three diamonds if we're going to make this work. So we'll put a third diamond up there. So what I want to show is if the diamond ring is on the end, it's called an aldehyde. And I should have put that in the middle if it's if it's in the middle there. That really made that look weird. Oh, I messed it up. So, still, it's no biggie. Doot, doot. This has methyl on the end. No big deal. Single. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, do you see the difference? What's happening here? Here with the double bond on the end, it's still got a hydrogen next to it. When it's in the middle, those carbons are bound to carbons. So what you're looking at with these functional side groups is what it does to the carbon it's bound to. Because remember, it sucks all the energy that way. So... This is done, essentially. We'll color it in. Do the green first here. Color it all the way in because it's its own little entity. It's a double bond, two bonds for the oxygens. So there you go. Let's color them in. So one carbon here. That's kind of silly looking, huh? You know what that would be called? We'll write with our brown crayon. Okay, so this is acetone. It up. Oh boy, I'm really messing this up. This is acetone. Own because it's a ketone. That's on the end. It can't be. So that. So it's called three carbons. Let's see if the sharpie works. You got one. Two, three carbon, so it's propane like propane AL because it's on the end or propanel. That looks really shoddy, doesn't it? Oh boy. Anyway, color them in. One, two, three, Three carbons, too. I want to show you. These are called isomers when they have the same number of elements, atoms. But the bonds can be in different places. So we've got one, two, three. One, two, three hydrogens. One, two, three. One, two, three. But there's two methyls on this one out on the side for acetone, the real acetone. Propanol aldehyde is on the end, so there's only one methyl group. Got the simplest one. I'll admit the name escapes me. For, see, there's a formal name. Formic acid would be formate. Ion. This would be a single. So I believe they're going to call it methone. You never see it. It's a tough one, huh? So anyway, there's your carbonyl side groups.